Why is exploring the ocean floor more challenging and dangerous than space travel? Many believe that sending a submarine to the ocean floor would be easier than launching a spacecraft into outer space. However, scientists disagree. Although humans have been exploring the surface of the ocean for thousands of years, the ocean floor remains a highly mysterious realm. According to 2022 data from the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, only about 20% of the ocean floor has been explored and mapped by humans. Scientists often argue that space travel is easier than diving into the depths of the ocean. In fact, we have a more detailed map of the Moon and Mars than we do of our own planet, said Jean Feldman, a retired oceanographer who worked at NASA for over 30 years. One reason why humans face limitations in exploring the deep ocean is that as one descends underwater, water pressure increases. Additionally, descending deeper means moving away from sunlight, making the space dark and nearly impossible to see. The water temperature at great depths is also extremely low. In summary, the deeper one goes into the ocean, the higher the level of risk, even when using the most advanced submarines. History of Human Exploration of the Ocean Floor The first submarine in history was built by Dutch engineer Cornelis Drebbel in 1620, while he was working for the Royal Navy of England. This submarine could carry 16 crew members, stay underwater for three hours, and dive to a depth of four to five meters. Of course, Cornelis Drebbel's submarine was not suitable for exploring the ocean floor. A significant breakthrough in human exploration of the ocean floor occurred in 1960 when the submersible used for deep-sea exploration, Trieste, conducted a successful expedition to the Challenger Deep, located at a depth of 10,911 meters below the sea surface. Challenger Deep is situated beneath the floor of the Pacific Ocean and is the deepest known point on Earth. Jacques Picard, son of the submarine designer Auguste Picard, and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh were the first to successfully explore Challenger Deep aboard the Trieste. Oceanographer Jean Feldman considers the Challenger Deep expedition extremely dangerous, even more so than landing on the moon. According to NOAA, for every 10 meters descended below the sea surface, the pressure increases by one atmosphere, ATM. This means that to reach Challenger Deep, a submersible would have to endure pressure equivalent to the weight of 50 giant jet planes. With such pressure, even the smallest flaw in the submarine's structure could lead to disaster. What lies beneath the deep ocean floor? Deep sea areas below the ocean floor, with depths exceeding 6,000 meters, are called Hadal zones, named after Hades, the god who ruled the underworld in Greek mythology. In the Hadal zone, no sunlight can penetrate, and the water temperature is only slightly above freezing. According to the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, in Massachusetts, USA, scientists first proved the existence of life in the Hadal Zone in 1948. During the Challenger Deep Expedition, Jacques Picard and Don Walsh observed rock formations that could be chemically transformed sediments, gigantic amphibious creatures, abyssal snail species, and many other bizarre organisms. According to NOAA, they even recorded a video of a creature about 18 meters long at a depth below 6,000 meters in the waters near Japan in 2012. Jean Feldman mentions an extraordinary world of life and an entirely unfamiliar ecosystem existing in the dark, deep-sea regions. This includes bioluminescent organisms that use light for communication, attracting prey, or attracting mates, or large-sized marine creatures. However, to this day, scientists still do not know how many marine species live in these dark, deep-sea areas. Scientists say that beneath the deep ocean floor, chemical reactions occur when cold seawater seeps through cracks in the seabed and is heated by magma, causing the seawater to reach temperatures up to 400 degrees Celsius. This chemical reaction produces minerals containing sulfur and iron, and steam vents under the seabed release nutrient-rich water supporting the ecosystem and marine life in deep-sea areas. The mysteries beneath the deep ocean floor are being further explored by scientists using unmanned submersibles capable of withstanding high pressure. Recently, researchers at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and NASA collaborated to develop an autonomous underwater vehicle capable of withstanding pressures over 1,000 times that on the sea surface. This vehicle will help understand and explore the diversity of marine life, 
as well as the surface features beneath the deep ocean. Why is mapping the ocean floor so important? Mapping the ocean floor helps scientists understand how the shape of the seabed influences ocean currents and where marine life appears. It also helps provide early warnings of potential seismic events. Beyond its geographic value, the ocean floor is considered a gold mine containing useful compounds that could lead to breakthroughs in biomedicine. For example, the drug cetarabine, derived from sea sponge, was approved in 1969 to treat acute myeloid leukemia. Some compounds in the venom of cone snails can be used as painkillers, or proteins from certain jellyfish species may serve in cancer research. However, exploring and mapping the ocean floor is no easy task, and to this day, humans have not completed this endeavor. Only a very small percentage of the deep ocean has been explored and seen firsthand by humans. A very small area beneath the ocean floor has been drawn and mapped by humans, shared Gene Feldman.